Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19, uh, Farming Simulator 19 here on Mason Creek 19. Folks, it's your host with not the most Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, as you see it, you just saw right. There is one, two, three, four, and five combines in one field. So, uh, I ain't got very much time, so I'm going to land my drone and get started. And I hope y'all are doing okay. Hit that like button. Share me with your friends. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, if you want to. Folks, today is bean harvest. Let me get these guys going. Yeah, I just noticed I ain't got no audio this time. Not good. Not good. But anyway, we're go, we going to do this anyway. Um, let me be right back in a second. I'll see if I can get some. All right, everybody. We got the sound back. We are in the Flint 8T. Um, I don't know which one of these combines which, but like I was showing you, our goal is five of them all together. And we are going to use AI. Vehicle extension. We're going to go ahead and start him up. Um, when I hop out, my first vehicle is going to be this in here. That's a 4940 self repaired sprayer. You see, it's got the number two on it. Yes, this is our second uh, high boy, folks. I can't, we around here will call them high boys. But uh, he is uh, getting some maintenance done. It's brand new, like I said, just making sure everything's right. It's loaded with lime. Uh, I had to take out more on the loan. Let's see, I want to do, got to start the vehicle. Control F, and we're going to set that to about 40. Five. Might be 55. Let's go with 60. 60 is uh, first combine and first tractor and trailers that went with it and then uh, we're going to go ahead and start our motor this is our second tractor and combine and control F and we're going to bring that to 60 like the other one and our second combine and of course AI and it looks like it's right on the money so we're gonna go ahead and hire him and our third set is a uh, Phoenix 6x6 Argo truck uh, the reason why I'm leaving the covers off is because the first trailer I want to catch all the combines that it can so I'm leaving the covers so they won't accidentally. Alright, that is following. 60 behind. And that's their third combine. Just making sure everything's right. Our worker. We probably got Multiverse Studio. Anna. Ice Demon. Christy, Bo, uh, a few other people uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, this is where this needs to be changed. This arrow needs to be that way. It needs to be facing opposite of the side that you're on. And that is up now. We want this to go in a circle like the rest of them are. Come on. Is it off? It's on. Why are you not working on? Oh. 
nacho trays. Now, there's always one of them that's I'm on, why aren't you working, buddy? Hmm. Folks, I don't know. I, I'm kind of curious. Pull this out. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that all together. Can I not hire a worker? And Sean, I can't hire a worker. Well, we might have a broke combine. Let's just shut him off for a minute. Um, there's our uh, self repair sprayer. It's, we was doing uh, on 24 back there. So, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell these bales. Let's go in here and make sure they're the right price first. Well, since we're here, let's go ahead and set these fertilizing. Y'all can just look right there and see what we get for them. I'm not going to call them out. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying not to do it too fast, but I'm doing it. Okay. Now, Harvest Field 27, I want to accept that, but I want to get a couple of these done before I do. Uh, let's go in there. I'm 550 on the loan. As for getting the, the spreader. Uh, as you can see there, we got a lot there back, so I'm going to repay that down to 500000 And uh, let's go here. And let's see. It's going to be soybean straw, gate bales, 1267 for the highest. So marking that you can see right there it's in front of us so let's get them sold I'm gonna switch to the front I'm gonna undo the straps ease forward now folks I hope y'all doing okay yep oh, 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 turn the radio down you know don't need to be hearing that I know y'all probably want to but it's for my ears only uh okay there they go i said we selling yet i'm switching to the back i'm doing those straps it's going to take it kind of slow oh okay yeah i don't try to get all of them sold in one go and that should about do it oh 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 yep yeah, oh, there we go that brings us to $6,324. Cool. All right, we're going to get this guy back to field 37 because we're going to have to pick up uh, the bales out there. Got to get the combat going first. So. so I will meet you back at the field. All right, our first combine is full. Okay, and our second one hopefully will be full here and before it reaches this, and if not, it's going to be a uh, devastation. Uh, how far did we get around? We're almost to the top of the road, folks. Ah, what does happen? I don't, folks. All right, everybody. Uh, I hope I got it working this time. Our sound's back. And uh, last time I froze right about in here. I was talking about the combines. Y'all didn't hear none of that. but Kind of figured out what was going on, too. Um, tag through these real quick. This guy here, where I go, was wanting to hire a worker. As you can see right now, up there top left, there's no signs whatsoever of hiring a worker. So, I take that off, I can hire a worker. 
and it's still showing AI extension. Now I'm going to try to do this this way. That needs to be there, and that needs to be on that. Let's see if he goes somewhere. I don't know what it was, but it's working now. But, yeah, let's, let's get the... This guy should be full here in just a second. Hopefully, he'll make it. Nope, nope, he ain't gonna make it. All right, we'll just circle around. I have a feeling that my job is going to be very, very hectic trying to keep up with five combines. I might have to space them out a little bit further so I can do it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to, uh, um, so now I want that to be left. I want the front to be left. I want the back to uh, open cover. He ain't gonna stop in time. Is he? Is he? Stop, stop, stop. Oh, please. Oh, thank you. Okay, so my front trailer. Uh, nope, I didn't want that. I want that. My front trailer is full. So. It's gonna be a lot of sweeping strokes. It's gonna be a lot. That down there is already. Whew. Yeah. It, it's gonna take a few minutes. Because I, I need to start a waypoint for this tractor to uh, go offload. To. Uh, what, what? Whoa, sorry, I had the radio up. That means blast years out like that. Uh, we'll go up here, and uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna have to set these real quick. This was in the last part. I forgot to, you know, to collect them before I started again. So you, you know where it is because this has already been done. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna accept that. And fail 27 is what we're shooting for next, but I, we got a couple more harvestings there. I don't know if we'll set them or not, but yeah, it's going to be one of those. Uh, I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out. We're going to take that guy that's behind that combine there, the tractor, and I'll probably catch those two again, and then turn around and catch this one. And then we're going to use the semi to catch them after that. We may have to bring some more bob trucks over here. Because what I got ain't going to hold all of him. And let me get under. Please let me get under. Stop right there. Alright, uh, that is on the left. I want to close that. And that one is on the left, too. And this is where it's going to get interesting very, very quickly. Oh, I forgot where it's going to... Uh, field 37 is one we're doing, 6%. But it's got to go to Tulip, Tula Corp. I'm saying that right? Yeah, see, I'm, I'm full cover that up we're gonna get out here on this road probably about here because all this field here goes to Ch Chalu um, which is down by the market shop so I'm gonna show y'all this real quick I'm not gonna show the whole thing but we're gonna right click which my mouse is getting messed up you see here, grain transport load at start, empty combine, and offload. We want to do this. We just want to do this one right here, the first one. And then we want start uh, course recording. And as you can see, off we go. He's got his pipe out. And he should have his pipe out pretty soon because I didn't get all of them. 
and go from there. But I'm going to record this course to Chalu or however how you pronounce that and back. And folks, as you can look on your screen now at the map, down there at the bottom right you see a shop and then you see a green flashing circle. That's where I got to go. And as you can see, we're almost middle left there. You find field 37 there, all those blue flashing dots and the little green circle that's flashing is us. Got a long ways to go. So, I'm going to record this uh, real carefully so none of them will have any accidents. And I will be right back with y'all one more time. Be right back. Now I want to come back a little bit sooner. I just want to show y'all these tree colors. Look at all the winter colors. I would say fall, but it's like they're all golden brown now. And that uh, definitely reminds me, we got like two days today and tomorrow to get these crops out. So, yeah. Anyway, back to my recording. And just want to pop back in one more time. This is our field 18 and 19. Uh, yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, 18's been disted, planted, and fertilized. So all three of our treasures are sitting there. And uh, look like 19 is doing wonderful. I think we got weed out there. So yeah, this update on those two fields. And a little update on our fields here. This is 14, 13, and 2. They all been combined, and the little pond's been filled in. Um, we got grass grown out there, so the sad thing is that we probably won't get none off of it because it's winter time. So it'll be uh, first of the summer, maybe somewhere in there, late spring. Never know. Depending on the fertilizer. So yeah. And now y'all probably getting tired of this, but I had to come back one more time. We're at the marketplace, and you see our blue truck sitting there, or Mac. It's one that we was having transmission problems out of. I need to sell it. So uh, when I get this course done, remind me to sell that truck. Okay, guys? Girls? All right. All right I might well just keep y'all here. Uh, there's Chula uh, Farmers Co-op. And yeah. Um, I am using the speed control. I don't know how I need to come in here. The way it's looking, I'm going to go all the way around. I hate to cross-reference my tracks like that when I'm recording, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But I'm using the speed control where I just use my minus and plus signs on my keyboard to slow my speed down to what I think course play will do it's it's not that it won't do it, it it'll do the speed you'll put but the outcomes can get kind of ridiculous sometimes and uh, that's why I'm trying to go slow you know try not to make no mistakes or sharp turns or speeding up to a stop sign because uh, you speed up to a sharp turn that's when course play are like oh Oh, I was supposed to turn here. Oop, too late now. You overshot your turn. I mean, you know, that's the way humans are in a way, you know. When computers ain't no better than us. It's all depends on how they're programmed there. But there's our high boy back there. We'll oh, spread our line. But yeah, I think coming in this way is a lot better. And here I got to remember I'm going to be dumping on the left on both of these. And you see down at the bottom there next to my speed and stuff it, it says a little block there that says left. But what I want to do, I want to slow down just enough where uh, course play can handle this. I'm going to get back on the front here. And I gotta remember, hey, I'm gonna be dumping on the left side. So I want to make sure I scoot over to my right side as I go in here without hitting anything. I could put a waypoint here and that way it'll stop here every time. 
and I can dump it myself. But folks, course play, if you're on PC, course play will do it for you. So all I gotta do now is slow down to about one mile an hour. I'm probably done that a little bit too quick. Uh, you can go ahead and close this out. It'll still be recording. Let's speed up just a little bit here. But as soon as I get the tip trigger to dump, I want to dump. Alright, I got the sign. I'm going to go ahead and start dumping. And depending on the amount I got, you know, I can go all the way down to zero if I want to. I'll barely be moving. But I think this will handle it just at one mile an hour. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my back hopper or trailer. Uh, if you got the hopper bottoms, it's kind of hard to do that because some maps won't let you dump both of them at the same time. I should be getting the trigger for the back at any moment. There we go. I want to go ahead and start dumping that. Alright, so I got 3% transported for field 37. And there I am dumping the... Uh, I'll have another 3% when this one gets dumped. And then, uh, of course, you know, like I said, you want to make sure you don't hit nothing. At the same time, you want to make sure you stay... Uh, where your left side can dump and not hit nothing also. Alright, so there there goes 6% transported. And now, I don't want to speed up too fast, but as soon as that, I think that trailer can clear, I can bump my speed up some. Just remember, if you want to use this course for like trailer trucks, you gotta know, pretend you're driving a trailer truck. And, uh, yeah. You just gotta make those wide turns. Go out as far as you can, make it wide. And as you start to straighten up here, you wanna think about your next turn. And, uh, make it wide. And by the way, this is the, we buy and sell your chickens and get feed for you chickens in case y'all was wondering i put that on the map myself i was going to get chickens but i haven't got around to it yet uh, i don't think there's any traffic on this road but i do have traffic turned off and as you can see right there with the markers i just crossed over my track i just made and if you only got one or two vehicles running it's a slim chance but you just, you got to realize, if you don't want a headache, you can, uh, you want to turn. I should have turned, went in the first drive and come out the second drive, and I wouldn't have to cross my tracks. And uh, up here at the store, when I go make that right-hand turn, I'll be crossing over my tracks there, too, because I need to make a wide turn. Uh, go ahead and speed up here a little bit. As you can see, I got three full combines. And the one's at 94%, but I think he's just blocked or something. I, I really don't know. But if you get going too fast, and you can see how I'm kind of having trouble staying straight here, having uh, use my buttons a little bit more to correct my steering and stuff. That can get out of hand too when you're doing course play. Uh, so whatever you do recording this, it's, it's going to keep doing it. Uh, you can back up and edit. But I'm not too fond of that. I've done it on uh, Long Oak a few times. Which it's easy to do. It's, it's hard for me to find out which button it was. So, But once I got into it, it was kind of easy first couple times it, it just it got easier after that but as you can see right here I am crossing over into my other track because I need to make a wide turn and that, that can hurt you right there because that's a point of uh, your traffic getting congested there 
All right, back up to speed, and I'll see you back out to the field. And going right through here, you can see I kind of weaved over right there, and then up here, I'm back over, hooking the other side. I was doing that because, look, I got thinking about the semi-truck. I might be hitting some of these limbs if I get too close to the right. But at the same time, I want to keep enough distance to my left there so I don't hit oncoming vehicles with the with the other uh, semi-trailers and stuff that's going to be running up and down. Um, as you can see, we have 140000 up there. I think I'm going to probably ride some of that money off uh, as far as not paying it all back until maybe spring or, or next summer. Um, reason for is we really need a good semi truck and hopper bottom or, or some kind of bed that we can transport grain easily. I have a few in mind. I probably won't show them in this episode because I'm already 17 minutes plus 10 plus 2 somewhere wrong in there. So uh, this is going to be a little lengthy video. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll go into some details here in a minute when I get back to the field. All right, I made it back to the field. So we're going to right click our mouse. We're just going to hit this stop button. You see we got our stop symbol. And then uh, this is field 37. So I'm going to go right here and hit the save button. And that's going to be field 37. All load to C H U L A C O O P and I'm just going to hit enter and that's all it is folks that is done so now I can take this tractor and go and uh, get some of these other ones and uh, program the other tractors with the same course and as soon as I get full I can hit the nearest point and they should go straight to that so uh, yeah uh, that's our combine there uh, I don't have him running yet I was going to have him take out those little slews down through there to make a straightaway uh, I get all these other vehicles situated and uh, that should be no problem but a lot of this is going to be done off screen folks but we'll probably have maybe three more episodes of cutting beans right give or take so yeah it's gonna be one of those things I'm gonna go ahead and turn my blinkers off I'm gonna park him there shut the engine off let's see uh, do we have somebody behind way back behind I, I kind of figured that one there ain't full yet that's why we're going to get this guy, and uh, I don't know why they turned their blinkers on. But let's see, we'll get back up, oh, back up to that. And we're going to take that off. Go to the back one, take that one off. And he's putting his pipe out. And we're going to get this guy unloaded first a girl, it could be Christy, it could be Colin, I, I can't keep track of them folks I'm going to turn that off we're going to get in our truck here uh, control F open the cover and I'm going to change the capacity of this truck, it holds 59,000 but I'm going to alt J real quick and I just made it a whole 118,000. So, yeah. Alright, get him back on the load. I don't know why I'm shutting the motors off. I need to read them running. And there's that. One. We're going to jump back here real quick. That's why I need to read them running. 
All right, I just got him hired onto that. And this guy here is almost done. He, he is. Good, we can get back in this one. We're gonna try to get this in here stopped. Oh, it would be leaving a little bit. You gonna get full on me? Probably not. Let me swing around real quick. They look like we got most of them spread it out. Oh, that got pulled us in. Uh, not quite. 99%. Nice fool. But folks, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be jumping around combine to combine and um, so yeah um, like I said uh, let me get this guy on the back hopper real quick and we'll talk about that trailer before we go uh, there you, front trailer is full now he's filled the back we'll switch back to the front tarp back Let's go in here real quick to her. All right, sorry about that, folks. This thing come up and I had to take care of uh, bladder control. Uh, let's go up here, go to tippers, swing on over. So these are hopper bottoms. We want something like this, but there's one in particular. Was it this one? That's going to be our sellage trailer, probably. I think it's this and 60,000 ain't bad. We can get two of them. Um, yeah, it dumps out the back. It doesn't raise up or nothing. It's got a belt across the back here that feeds out this way. Um, steel or aluminum? I think I'm going to go with steel. There's going to be down gravel roads and stuff, but. We are going to go with black. Oh, baby, look at there. All right, we are going to get one for now. And, uh, yeah. And I got to figure out which Mac we got to sell. But, folks, I have to get these tractors going. And grab the other combine behind me. And uh, we're going to get him finish me up real quick. Which ain't no telling where he's at. Where am I? Okay, he, he's coming around the curve down there. So, um, yeah. They get hit down there. You can get to those trees to the right there. And follow around back to or 9600, 9610 or whatever it is. And, uh. We'll be around this field once. We got to get the straw going because I want to get every bit of straw off of these next three fields before we finish the contracts. Just so, you know, we can have that extra money. And we'll probably have to sell some of that straw or get this contract here finished or something. But we're going to get a good semi to go along with that trailer, folks. I've run my mouth enough today. And, uh, yeah, folks, I just want to say I love each and every one of y'all. And uh, it wasn't for y'all. This wouldn't, I'd still be playing, but I wouldn't be running my mouth. I'd be just sitting here playing. So, uh, yeah, having y'all, it's like, ooh, I drifted a little bit there. Having y'all, it's like uh, coming up with these awesome ideas to record for y'all. And stuff like that. Come on, buddy, stop. I need to fill this up so I can put them on the road. On the road again. Ooh, I almost didn't get close enough. On that sweet loving road again. Folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I will see y'all in the next episode here on Medicine Creek Farms. Your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, y'all have a good one. Later. <laughs>